Hey, you got Fox here. So a crazy thing happened to me. So crazy that I didn't know if I wanted to put in this video or make a second video, but I'll give you guys a twofer. I bought a single fantasy pack here uh, with the leftover points that I had, and I did pretty good. Let's let's just roll through it. I wasn't recording my voice at the time because I just uh, didn't think I would actually pull something like I did. I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna label it that it's a glitchy pull. I think I'm going to label it after the gameplay that I got of these guys. Because I know I got, I got some feedback on the channel. They want more gameplay. Maybe I'll do a little bit of gameplay each week. Here is the gold round in the Legend Fantasy Pack. Um, there it is. The second selection. And for the Elite round, let's get... Uh, yes, 84 Barber. Awesome. Oh, wait. 93 Barber is pretty good, too. Yeah. I can't believe I pulled a Barber. So this week... We've gotten kind of good packs. This has probably been my best week of pack pulling ever. I could say that hands down, best pull. I, I never expected to pull a full legend barber, but I did. Hashtag YouTubers get good packs, right? Uh, but anyways, look at the stats. 91 speed, 91 acceleration, 89 agility. You'd prefer the agility a little bit higher on that. So hopefully Rondé is a very good barber and can give our opponents some haircuts. Maybe shorten up their points per game. Or lower their ears because he's knocking guys onto the ground. Anyways, that's enough barber puns. Here's the lineup that you guys saw the lineup update on. Mike Vick, Chad Johnson, Green there with the uh, similar running backs and offensive line. Hopkins there. So we're going to get some footage of those guys too for some reviews. There's Shaz in the middle. The other uh, barber there at number two. I'll sub in barber though. So if I'm going to start the game, barber will be my number four. But then I'll sub him in right away. So you guys are going to see gameplay of him at CB2. Um, Erlacher there is my C, uh, middle linebacker too. Here is the opponent. So he's got a pretty decent squad, this opponent. Uh, and uh, mine's a little glitchy. Little. And, and Max not even there. So we got, a, we got quite a few 93s. I wonder how they choose the front ones. Obviously by overall, but after that, I don't know. So we got Odell as our number five receiver. So he's going to be turning kicks for us. And uh, let's see right off the bat. Vic, roll, 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 roll. All right, looks like uh, he's sending guys at us, and let's just throw it away. All right, so he's doing a pretty good job keeping us in the pocket. I could potentially try and run some more uh, fly routes and then scramble with him. All right, so Mike Vick, right off the bat, he can complete passes that other quarterbacks can't because of the throw power. Do you see that 94 throw power be able to get in above uh, the opponent's uh, corner on that one? That's generally a ball that, like, Andrew Luck would throw a pick on. And yes, I will run the ball a little bit, you know, keep keep the opponent balanced. This is a weekend league, I gotta win. AJ Green jumping up, try to jump over him, but we got a little glitchy. And oh, nice form tackle by my opponent on Le'Veon. Somewhere his high school coach is smiling at the moment. Keeping the head up, driving through the ball carrier, wrapping up and taking down. All right, so we're back on offense after uh, defense, or no, we're starting on defense after getting seven off the back. Rondé is on the left side of the field here. He's number 20 over here. Can you make a play? And oh, I guess no. Our user got to it ahead of uh, Rondé, but um, getting close to the ball, I guess. That's good. Check out the cornerback on the left side. He's going vertical, going vertical. Nice, but nice vertical make on that, Rondé. So back on offense. We get back first and 10. Vic under pressure, doing really nice. Winslow, just throw it underneath and drag. Get open, guys. Trying some man pressure on us. Trying to get some guys through some A gaps there. But luckily, I, I generally keep a running back in the block against most blitzes because it's Always a good idea. AJ Green, once again, corner routes. See, in the real NFL, they say a quarterback's talented if he's got arm strength, if he can hit that corner route uh, between coverages. Vic has that talent, the best talented uh, corner route thrower in the game. You know, he's he's a little inaccurate, and we're going to see that in a second. Uh, maybe not a second, but a little bit longer. Maybe I could have gotten in the air with Vic. I just always I, I worry about taking hits with the quarterback right as he takes a nice hit stick and holds on to the ball. Ball, ball carry conservative is really something that uh, is – Quite nice to have on your uh, coach adjustments because you're gonna suffer a lot less fumbles. Like this game is terrible with fumbles unless you have ball carry conservative on, then you're not really gonna deal with too many fumbles, which is really nice. So we're sending some pressure off the edge, not really get home. Can Vernon get home? No, he just throws it out of bounds. Anyways, he's he's in the split close. We're in our three three five. Uh, there we are chasing him down. Throws it away again. Smart third and ten. Don't give up ten yards. Cross on slant route underneath, and he just missed throws it. If he if he would have thrown that accurately, we would have had that uh, user pick. Nice little pass, but. Mr. Harrison's there. You guys already know my feelings on him. All right, roll out. Come on. Oh, user rush, and our uh, running back just ignored the user. Um, here we are, Vic again. Corner out. Dot. Right there. Beautiful. I can't wait. See, these 91 zone coverage guys are absolute murderers. There's Chad Johnson getting a pass. Murderers if you have a low throw power quarterback. Uh, and we're not able to outrun the de defensive end, unfortunately. So 93 speed not really doing it for us so well. 
Nice, nice strike to Hopkins there. So Vic is is sailing the ball in there smoothly, making reads, winning games. Tomlinson again, glitchiness. He did, as you notice, he didn't have the never stumble cam on because of uh, I have Bo Jackson starting because I prefer the battle ready, as I explained in my lineup update. So we're using uh, Paul P. And not the greatest user, not the greatest in man coverage. We, we figured he'd go to uh, streak routes again. So we'll just go to cover four instead of man coverage. Because with the man coverage, the tight end gets open. And number 50, Mr. Shaz, once again, making plays like real life in coverage. Our four-man pass rush getting home. We're just sending four. We're sending the dogs at him. We're going pass rush aggressive and rotating our, our alignment. Ugh, God, I wanted to skate the pocket so bad. But like we're, we're just like a dead fish here. That's something I think that probably needs to be improved going into 19 is the ability for quarterbacks and just players to get up off the ball. There is there is a very uh, behind-the-ball throw. We're going to take a look at all these replays after the game, and uh, you're going to see Vic's accuracy right there and why that was his issue and maybe not the read. So we tried a quarterback uh, option. Nice spin uh, read option there. Get it out to the sideline. I, want, I guess I just let up my finger too early on that play. But we're up 17-7, just kind of dotting our way down the field, running drags, running seams, running everything. So we're trying to give Vic the ball a little bit. He's only been able to score on that pick six, so let's just keep it rolling. Vic's got a smooth action. It doesn't look like the fastest release in the game, but it, it's very, it very much does look like how Vic normally releases the ball. There is perfect man beater. AJ Green, you beautiful bastard. I haven't thrown the ball a lot to Kelvin or to Chad Johnson, and I apologize for that. Just I've had I got guys over the middle getting open, so that's who, who I'm going to. Maybe I should try and force it to him more. But here is the final stats. We win the game, 15 to 17 for 244 for Vic. He only rushed for two yards and six attempts. We tried to run, we really did, but uh, it didn't work out so well for us. Our, our running backs had a little bit better average per yard. Receiving Winslow was our best receiver. Green and Johnson. Johnson only got two passes for us that game. So overall, I mean, it's a winning effort, which you know it could always be better than winning effort, but. Michael Bennett, two sacks, just unleashing the dogs every play. We had, what, four sacks that game? No, five sacks that game. Great work. All right, now here's Mike Vick. Here's the interception. See how it's thrown behind Hopkins there? If that's thrown to his lead shoulder, we pick up a few yards there. But because it was thrown behind, he missed it. But here is, is Vick's beautiful strikes during the game. There he is, once again on the corner out, right as he's taking a hit, right over the linebacker. I think a guy with a lesser arm strength, that actually gets uh, interaction with the safety. And this one's just, that one's anybody hits that in the game. Most everybody can hit that pass when it's that uncovered. Here's Vic rolling out, rolling out, rolling out, throw to the corner. Boom! Let's get a better look at that. Strike! Very, very sharp. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I think uh, Mike Vic's probably the best card in the game. But we'll do a full review on him. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.